In this tutorial, we're going to talk about what we refer to as the full cycle, which is creating or editing a survey in the Survey Manager, which is where we are right now, downloading that survey to a device, um, taking a few surveys on that device, and then uploading that data back into the Survey Manager for reporting and analysis. So I have my uh, iPhone here with a survey on it. I'll just bring it up onto the screen. And this is a real-time survey app running on my iPhone. And our, our system is a multi-mode or multi-channel system, which can author once and distribute to all different kinds of modalities. But we just happen to be using an iPhone survey app for this demonstration. So I'm just going to click the Next button and show you we have just a one-question survey using uh, the mapping question in this case. So I'm going to go back to the home page and uh, let's go in and change the survey. So let me just reduce this. I'm going to go in and find a survey sample. Um, sample iPhone and let's search for that. I think I have a few. Yeah, I have a few surveys. Let's go ahead and just edit this one rather than creating a whole new survey. And you'll see here we're in the wizard now. Step one, defining questions, customize, assign, and optional features. So I'm just going to jump into step three and assign this survey to my iPhone. Uh, so let's go click on the address book and find my iPhone in the system by its serial number in this case, or I could search by first name, last name. There's a variety of ways I can, I can search for this device, but I know the serial number, so I'm going to just search. There I am. I'm going to select it, add, close, and there's my, my information there. And I'm just going to keep it as send push notification as the way in which I'm going to distribute this uh, this survey to my device rather than pulling it I can push it there's a whole bunch of ways you can actually download or schedule uh, uh, surveys to download to your devices but uh, so I've just uh, uh, saved that and we're sending a push notification which just came through so I'm going to go ahead and say okay and that new survey uh, sample iPhone survey is replacing the mapping question survey. And yes, you can have multiple surveys on a device simultaneously. You can even have multiple locations on that device simultaneously too, but let's just keep it simple for this this demonstration. So I'm going to click uh, return to my surveys and see if we have a new survey. Uh, we have the intro screen. Sure enough, now we have an eight question survey I'm looking at. Here are some picker wheels, drop downs, uh, single choice, uh, select all that apply, ranking, questions open-ended with uh, media capture I can take a video or a picture if I wished slider scales and before we click submit why don't we go into the reports tab I'm gonna reduce my screen here I'm gonna go in find this particular survey sample uh, sample iPhone survey there it is and let's see what we have. We have 728 surveys. So now let's bring our phone back up onto the screen. I'm going to click Submit now. And after that finishes its upload, which it's just done, I will reduce this. And I'm just going to do an update location count and see if my 178 changes. And sure enough, 179. So the data just made its way up from my iPhone up into the Survey Manager account and the end date confirms that. You can also always click on this and it will take you to the raw data, the underlying raw data, or you can of course go in and use any variety of the reports or dashboards that we have for in-depth analysis of your survey data. So that concludes this brief tutorial just going over the what we refer to as the full cycle of changing your survey in your device, capturing data on the device, uploading that data, and the data can be uploaded in real time or if you're running in offline mode it will store the data on the device until which time you want to manually upload it or schedule an upload. So thanks for your time and uh, this concludes the tutorial.